having a Guinness Book of World Record on my name is always so special. Yeah, that Meet is. has the world record okay, for being the youngest T20 player to make his debut at age 14. Has cricket changed you or have you changed for cricket? Yeah, it took me 10 years of sheer hard work uh, to reach where I am right now. you remember when you picked up the bat for the first time? That is what made me, you know, uh, fall into cricket, like, you know. You have to keep working hard to get what you have to achieve. Meet is not playing cricket. What does Meet do on a normal day? Yeah, hi, welcome. We welcome all the viewers from Ben Creations and over the past couple of years, Ben Creations, we have been streaming a lot of live cricket in Kuwait and around. But this time around, we are taking another step when we will be looking forward to, to get to know all the players, athletes and uh, people from different walks of life a bit more up close. And to start off with this uh, inaugural episode, which we start off as uh, In Conversation is what we would like to call it. And we have a very special guest here from the Kuwait national team. It's a, a star performer who has been very, very consistent in the last few years. He's risen to fame with all his cricketing prowess and skills. It's Meet Bavsar, who has many eclods and records to his name. And we got the privilege to have a chat with Meet in this inaugural episode. And we have with us Meet, a very warm welcome. Thank you, thank you. To begin with, we have uh, plenty of uh, things when it comes to your introduction. I'm just wondering where to start off with. You've been a junior superstar right throughout, and you've evolved as a player, uh, setting an example that uh, all the youngsters will be looking forward to. I mean, yeah, obviously, I've, uh, it's a good thing, you know. I mean, you take interviews of a player and it's really motivating to each and every player, you know, to be interviewed. So, I really look forward to it. Yeah, we're very glad to have you, Meet. And uh, now you're gearing up for a very big tournament. It's certainly going to be a game changer, especially when you want to be playing with the big boys, uh, with the Asia Cup in focus. Uh, tell me, how is the preparation going on? Well, uh, the preparations are quite well, because we have been preparing since uh, three, four months and uh, we are playing as a team. I mean, like we are 20 contracted players and each and every one of them comes on every practice. You know, they just give the 100% on each and every practice sessions. So, we, we are just uh, hoping that the results follow up. Meet, from where shall we begin? Shall we go back in the throwback scenario where we'll start off from your junior cricket, starting off from your coach. How did you pick up cricket initially? Well, basically, this is the only place from where I, you know, started my cricket. Uh, I used to play here in the garden and, I mean, there was this uh, cricket coaching club which was run by Mr. Jutsa and uh, I was, as a kid, I was honestly very much into cricket and when I started cricket, it was Jutsa, like, who influenced me and uh, to take up cricket as my passion and, you know, yeah, I've been playing cricket since at the age of... Uh, 9 to 10 years old and yeah, it took me 10 years of sheer hard work uh, to reach where I am right now. And you have uh, spoken about Jude sir quite a few times. I mean, you started your cricket with Jude sir and then you started playing some junior cricket. How did that go? Well, to be honest, Jude sir is a father figure to me and uh, each and everything that Jude sir taught me like since childhood till now, I still cherish it forever. Yeah, Jude sir has played a big part and not forgetting Thayer Bhai's efforts. So, Jude Sir and Thayer Bhai has played a really important part in my career and uh, obviously, even my parents have supported me a lot. Plenty of support there for me right throughout. 
from his parents how do your parents take your cricket well to be honest my mom is big fan of cricket i mean my mom and dad even if it's not an india team match or not even a kuwait team match they'll still watch they just want to watch cricket that's it india team ki whatever team it is they they're fan of cricket not of indian team kuwait team whatever the favorites of so yeah they that is what made me you know uh fall into cricket like you know do you remember when you pick up the f- bat for the first time uh don't remember but then it was my mom who taught me like you know we i still remember we went to a garden like a picnic kind of thing and uh like they all were playing cricket and uh, i didn't know how to play like i didn't know how to swing a bat so then my mom used to hold my hand and she used to help me swinging a bat so you know like that is where i took that is where i initially started my cricket from like you've been uh, very phenomenal on the on the junior circuit right throughout we've seen i think a lot of kids they follow you okay how do you treat your uh, your cricket when it comes to mentoring kids when i'm using the word mentoring I, especially because kids will be coming up to you they, they walk up to you how do you counter that well honestly to everyone that has had asked me a question about uh, how do you work or something anything that comes up to me is hard work you just have to keep working hard to get what you have to achieve even you have to be patient hard work and patience is the key for success the junior circuit now you have slowly and steadily graduated towards playing the big league with the seniors and the big boys how has that transformation happened uh that transformation has only happened because of the mindset that i had and you know by like i've been playing in the national team since the age of 14 so my seniors have helped me you know getting that mindset so since childhood my seniors used to teach me ki what a professional cricketer has to have i talk about mindset hershel gibbs so has played an important role like uh, fitness uh punctuality this is all what is very important when i talk about mindset you mm-hmm. have to do your meditation yoga whatever it takes you have to eat right food and this is what has played an important part in my journey you know something about something that has really changed you instantly saying that now i be, i belong to the big league and now this is what i need to change as a person a cricketer and generally well the tournament uh, that i played in 2019 that is uh, the asian uh, i mean the regional qualifiers that i've played and that was my debut international tournament so yeah that has really changed my mindset you know if i can debut at the age of 14 years i can do something big in my life very well mentioned you mentioned 14 years coming here we have a trivia for all the the viewers here meet has the world record Okay, for being the youngest T20 player to make his debut at age 14, 211 days. How has that been? Well, uh, when I was debuting, I didn't know that uh, I was the youngest person to debut. So when I saw my name after a few months in the Guinness Book of World Records, I was so shocked. Like I didn't know that I was the. I knew that I was. Uh, the youngest player to debut for kuwait but i didn't know that i am the youngest player to debut like throughout the world oh so, that that's an interesting stat you knew that you were youngest from kuwait for sure as we all know but uh, you getting to know that you were the youngest international player okay has that changed things for you from there on well uh, i can't say that that has changed things for me but then yeah it's a, it plays an important part in my life having a guinness book of world record on my name is always so special yeah that is something very very special having a guinness uh, world record to your name how do you take your cricket do you think you are a serious cricket or are, are you come out of the ranks where you really worked out very very hard to upgrade your skill and talent or you always thought that you were talented from the start and honestly i have worked really really hard i've put in hard yards late nights early mornings and uh, Yeah there's nothing without hard work you have to work hard to be someone you have dreamt of being so yeah nothing beats hard work and you being a school boy and how have you managed the balance between being a school boy and uh, handling your international cricket you have to go to school from 6 to 1 and then have to come back sleep for a while study then go back to practice from 5 till 10 pm so this is like there were times when i have to be exhausted like have to study have to even manage cricket 
you have to even give time to family so that is what has made me mature enough to handle everything and even that helps me in cricket to how to handle everything around the field yeah it's very interesting now you always uh, time and again you know repeat the discipline that is brought the changes that you brought in okay has cricket changed you or have you changed for cricket uh and the other way around i have changed for cricket because if you want to become something you have to change yourself you can't you know just rely on a thing okay i'm talented so i'll just you know i'll just achieve success no even if you're talented you have to keep working you have to keep grinding hard to you know to receive something to get the fruits of it very true it's the consistency is what uh, is very demanding okay especially since now you're playing international cricket now how do you come back and handle your senior cricket playing with the big boys in the big league with the the domestic season heavily packed there's so many tournaments happening again uh, we will reflect back it's a credit to kuwait cricket there's one man i think uh, who has made a huge impact on your journey at the back end and at the start i think it's mr sadiq ashraf can you tell us something about your relationship with the Well, Sajid the relationship with Sajid Ashraf sir is always a many amazing one i would really like to thank him for all the support and uh, the love he has shown me throughout the years i also feel you know where he's played a important part because when you were a youngster like going back the two international coaches uh, that you have actually countered i think uh, if it comes to my mind is mr hershel gibbs and the current national coach mr pushpa kumaran how is it uh, been when you deal with international figures such as uh, these personalities oh uh, and it's always so so special when you are playing under coaching of uh, mr hershel gibbs or pk sir um it always you know i mean like there's always some sort of experience that they share with us because they have played the highest level of cricket so obviously the experience that they share along with us is something every kid wants to learn from and at this age if you are learning something that will if i am learning something that will really help me out in my future so i really love listening to each and every word that coaches say so that i can just get in everything every all the knowledge of cricket from the coaches going forward okay when you speak about senior cricket now okay there's plenty of tournaments happening around the bilateral series Uh, the asia cup the asia cup qualifiers okay how do you all take these tournaments do you all take it tournament by tournament how is the preparation that you you uh, personally work on basically we take every match as a, at a time not a tournament at a time every match at a time so we are not focused on playing the asia cup right now we are focused on playing the first match versus bahrain that's on thursday and uh, yeah, that is how it goes on you have to focus every match if i scored a 50 in this match it doesn't mean i'll i'll just start from 50 i'll start from zero in the next match so that i score i be consistent enough to score 50s in every match so yeah let's fall back let's mix things up okay we'll speak about some of your eclogs there's plenty of records is uh, you really taken things by the storm and let me go through your stats quickly uh, in the recent tournaments i think you have scored i think almost 40 plus hundreds in uh, the Kuwait uh, domestic circuit, and around 75 plus uh, half centuries. You've scored runs in bulk. You've scored. It's hard work plus consistency is equal to success. I just take everything for granted. That's not my thing. I have to keep working hard every day, every morning, so that you know I, I, I score runs in the next match. Yeah, it's something as you say. You score a hundred. Next day, you have to go and you start up from a zero, and that's uh, the ideology that you follow. Very well said. There are plenty of stories. I think uh, I've heard a couple <laughs> of stories of you. Very, very old story is uh, regarding your old and the first bat that you actually got from one of your family members. Can you tell us something about that? Well, I would just like to speak this in Hindi for my Masi, especially that ye there was a bat given from my Masi, and uh, I would really like to thank my Masi ki. आपने मुझे बैट दिया एंड अभी तक आई यूज बैट एंड ईच एंड एवरी डे ऑफ माई क्रिकेटिंग जर्नी आई आई यूज टू यूज दैट बैट और थैंक यू सो मच फॉर इट मासी एंड मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा था कि आपने मुझे बैट दिया था एंड आई वॉज अराउंड फोर फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड तो इट वॉज सो स्पेशल फॉर मी एट दैट टाइम मोमेंट एंड 
yeah like it's still, it's still special because every day like i practice with that bat and i've broken many willow bats but not that plastic bat well, that's an interesting treasure that you've treasured right throughout that's uh, the first bat i guess that you've received from a family member you still uh, have it and it's uh, it's it's walking along with you all throughout it will surely walk along with me throughout my career absolutely it looks like an inspiration Moving ahead, Meet. Now you've been playing uh, cricket. Let's move aside a little bit away from cricket. If Meet is not playing cricket, what does Meet do on a normal day? Meet also just studies, uh, give times to his family, and uh, just follows up his natural routine like wake up early in the morning, exercise, uh, do meditation, yoga. Uh, that's it. Simple. Take care of his diet. Well, if you're not playing cricket, cricket is still not leaving you. No, the ethic sure. is there, the discipline is there, and that is something for all those youngsters who are sitting out there. There's no, there's no rest day for me, even if it's a rest day. Yeah, there's no rest days. I mean, I do something or the other that counts. You know, like I mean, if I have a rest day, suppose if today is my rest day, I'll wake up early in the morning. I'll go. I'll do my yoga. I'll do my meditation in the morning. I'll come to garden. It's basically not not a rest day. I mean, I won't just sleep till twelve. I won't just sleep till one o'clock, and uh, you know, just waste my whole day. Each and every day counts for me, and I make sure that every little thing that I do in my day on my rest days helps me out in my future. I love that emotion. He says uh, everything counts for him when it comes to the whole process. Uh, he doesn't want to lack or uh, fall behind at any given point. Uh, that's something very interesting. It surely is going to be inspiring for all those youngsters who are following Meet. Now, you told me about that. How interesting is Meet as a person? Leave the athlete and the cricket away. Well, I'm. Uh, are you a funny guy? Not really. I won't tell you I'm a funny guy, but I'm calm, composed. I want to take you back, okay? And tell me something very, very special that has happened in your junior cricket. Do you remember those hundred, your first hundred, something that you have you have done well, in the early days? Well, uh, I remember about uh, the fastest hundred I've scored in the domestic, and it was in 33 balls. Uh, I scored a hundred, and I really felt so glad that I was about I was able to score hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in junior level. So I was very confident that if I play at a big level, I'll be able to score hundreds. The wonder, uh, the wonder boy who only knows uh, to tonk hundreds. His <laughs> record books are flooded with the, the number, of the numbers. It's uh, all number. Do you believe in the number games? Are you unfazed when you're playing uh, cricket? Is it the numbers that bother you, or it's just you taking cricket normally? I mean, numbers never bother me. I mean, I I'm just so focused on uh, playing at the next level. So if I just worry about numbers, so I just stay where I am. Uh, I have an interesting story to tell about uh, my jersey number 77. Uh, basically, this is not just a number, it's an emotion for me. As on 7 July, it's my mom's birthday and uh, that day is very special for me and it has brought me all the luck. Do you remember any calendar year where we scored plenty of runs, a lot of hundreds? A thousand plus runs. Uh, probably 2021 has been a special year. I've scored my 175 in that, and uh, even 308 runs not out. So yeah, I mean that year 2021 was a special one for me. You are somebody who is very used to getting plenty of man of the matches. I think uh, Meath has got over 40 to 45 individual man of the match, a player of the match awards. Well, I'll still say that I'm not so focused on getting man of the match. Unless and until my team wins or the Kuwait team wins or any club team that I play for wins, I don't believe in man of the matches. If Let me take you back okay, towards uh, the story that uh, I have heard. It's regarding you getting injured okay, on your international tours when you were a youngster. Tell us something about uh, those incidents that happened. So basically, we were in the swimming pool and uh, what I ended up is, I ended up falling on a glass and that went into my thigh. So I got around four stitches on my thigh and I was still able to play an international match after getting four stitches on my thigh. 
the international match versus Maldives, I guess it was after four days. So I got that four days to take rest and I scored 70, I still remember I scored 70 runs. And uh, out of those 70 runs, I scored 56, 57 odd runs scoring boundaries. So yeah, I just I was just able to run around 10, 15 runs. Oh, that's interesting. We will talk about your Asia Cup experience. How has that been? Uh, you've been playing with the big boys, especially India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. How has that been? Being a Asian player, Asia Cup is a really big tournament for us. Uh, playing in the lights of Heather Ali, Naseem Shah, uh, Dhruv Jarel, Tiagi, and all. I mean, Matisha, he's currently playing IPL. So, yeah, it was a very good learning experience for every cricketer. And even for the Kuwait team, it was a good, good experience at an international level. So, we have learned many things playing with India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and all. Because the uh, the way they play their cricket is something different from the domestic that we play here. So that is just the next level that they play on. We get to learn every small thing from them. So yeah, that's a very good experience. Is there a change in approach when you're playing, especially a big tournament as big as Asia Cup? Is there, is there, is there a shift in, in the thought process or is it the shift in process? Or, or does the work ethic change or the mindset? What is it? Can you tell the youngsters? Because surely, surely Asia Cup is a very, very big platform, especially if you're coming from uh, the GCC countries, the associate countries. Well, the mindset is always the same. It doesn't matter if you're playing Asia Cup or you're just playing a domestic cricket. It is what you have to do. Even if you play a normal match over here in Kuwait, or even if you're playing at the big level, what you have to do is you just have to be consistent. You have to be, you know, you you should always have that hunger of scoring runs every time you play a game. Like, if I'm playing, I have to score at least a 50 odd runs. Like, I have to do something. I have to contribute for the team in any other way you can. Now, going back, as you still men will still stay on the Asia Cup and the Asia Cup qualifiers topic. Tell us something about the special 175 that you scored. To be really, really honest, the day uh, we had match versus Nepal and I saw the pitch, so I said to my manager that uh, Ali Pai, today is my 100. I feel like because seeing the, at the pitch, I was like, I can score a 100 over here. Well, you first score kar, and then you let me know. So I was like, okay, let's see. So then I was so very confident that I'll score a 100 on this wicket. And even when I was warming up, uh, when I was doing my stretches and all, I was confident, you know, today I'll do something big. I had that, you know, that feeling in my uh, mind, I'll do something big today. How has things changed? Because we remember back in Kuwait when the 175 happened, it was a single-handed effort that you scored. Uh, everyone was talking about this innings. Uh, and from there on, okay, how has everyone looked up to you since you've joined the national team now? Immediately after that score, things have completely changed for you. You become a regular member of the national uh, squad, is uh, what I believe. And tell us something about that. Well, 175 has really, you know, brought uh, light into my career. Like because before that, I've scored a couple of international hundreds, but scoring 175 in Asia Cup and that too, you know, at such a big level, it was so so special for me. And that has really brought so many changes into my career. I'll take you back to one instance where I remember about the 175. Dinesh Karthik's dad, Krishna sir, he mentioned this to me that Dinesh Karthik specially called him inquiring who is this young lad who scored that 175. Well, uh, Dinesh Karthik sir has even been here before IPL and uh, he came here for a practice session in Labour Cricket Ground and I asked a few questions. So one of the questions was like, who's the fastest bowler you have faced? So he just looked at me and was like, middle stuck. I was like, yeah. I could not deny it because he's the fastest. Yeah, it's interesting. As you were standing up to the stumps, you wanted to sneak and get closer to him in between. Yeah, you have to again go back and credit uh, Kuwait Cricket you know, for providing all those opportunities. Every time, every now and then, uh, you have to applaud uh, everyone <laughs> involved in Kuwait Cricket and especially the Director General, Mr. Sajid Ashraf, who has time and again backed you on quite a few occasions. Your interaction, getting players, a lot of tours have been happening. What is next? In the next six months, what do you see happening next? 
uh, we are really looking forward for the Asia Cup that is going to happen on uh, 27th of August. We are prepared. We are quite prepared for it, and a uh, few under-19 tournaments and a uh, few bilaterals here and there. So. Still in the league of under-19s, a lot of runs to be scored. We'll uh, see a lot of records being shattered around because he's still a teenager, is what we consider. From your school, how do your friends in school treat you? Did, you treat, did you get any special treatments, or is it just meat being normal meat in the friend zone? Well, there were few friends like you know that I used to be casual with, but uh, there were always the others who should treat me with you know care and the love. And uh, let's move ahead. Tell me something about your parents. I especially want to know and uh, how <coughs> your mom and dad you know has taken <coughs> things in the second half now, especially now that your cricket has become more serious. Okay, at what point did your parents realize that you know that uh, you you you're going to do wonders in cricket? uh my parents were supporting since day one and uh, if i talk about my mom she wakes up like if i have a match at 6 am in the morning she'll wake up at 4 she'll prepare the breakfast and she'll make sure that my milk is ready i'll she you know she makes sure like each and everything like I, before sleeping i don't keep my things you know so she'll wake up she'll keep my all the jerseys this that and all i'll tell ki tomorrow if i have a quay team match she'll keep my quay team jersey on the sofa and uh, She's like, see, everything is ready. You you go have a shower, have your breakfast, and uh, you wear this. So I was like, it it is, you know, it is something that I can. Those efforts of mama and dad, I can't just forget. Even my dad, like, uh, even if I have match at 11 at night or 12 at night, he'll still come there. He'll still watch my match. I still remember yesterday. It was so humid. My dad was there in the ground, and he was just watching me bat, and. Uh, such special treatment coming from parents is something that every cricket every kid wants in their life surely the support has to be there from uh, the parents itself who's your favorite your mom is your favorite or dad is your favorite if i tell this then i'm gone at home <laughs> <laughs> anybody else apart from your mom and dad uh, from your family your relatives your cousins uh, who's who's followed you who's supported you and backed you saying that come on meet go It's unfair if I take one name because there were many behind the scenes. So yeah, I would just like to thank each and every one of them who have supported me and who, who have, you know, given the back to be where I am right now. So yeah. Yeah, very well said. There might be plenty of hands supporting you, taking you through this journey, holding your hands. I'll just fall back to one of those stories wherein uh, you have record of scoring a triple hundred. in junior cricket at school level i still remember that day i was uh, we had an inter school match and uh, it's a t20 match i guess right yeah it was a t20 match and i was in bus going to the ground and there was one of my friend classmate he was sitting beside me and he asked me ki meet how much aaj kitna banayega and at that period i wasn't in my, in form so i was like dekhte like I don't even I don't know how much I'll score, but then he's like approximately. I was like, let's see. I'll try scoring a fifty at least. So then, when I reached ground, when I reached ground and uh, I saw the wicket, and I was like, "Ye wicket pe agar batting aaja to it's because it was a flat wicket, and I would every every batsman would love to bat on that wicket. So I just I just went in my flow, and I didn't I I was not very concerned about. Uh, wo- how much I'm scoring? I think like, I'll play to the twentieth over, and I'll get my hundred done. So yeah, I didn't focus much on. I didn't even know that I'll score a three hundred. Like even my friends who were just with me, they're like, "How? How did you end up ended up scoring three hundred runs?" That's the exact figure: three hundred and eight eight runs. Was it unbeaten or did you uh, no, get no, out? No, no, it was unbeaten. It was unbeaten. Did you go back and thank the groundsman? <laughs> Apart from cricket, is there any other sport that really you know drives you or uh, brings you that thrill? Honestly, there's not a uh, specific sport that I play. I know how to play like all the outdoor games and uh, like I keep playing you know uh, football here and there. And because initially, even in the national team camps, we used to have football sessions so that you know we just take a day out of cricket. So yeah, like football. Uh, I mean basketball. We used to I used to play basketball in school. So yeah, like there are two three games that I used to play. Yes, mate. As we know that uh, 
you have given cricket so much being a blessed boy and cricket in return has given you so much for sure how has cricket rewarded you oh uh, i've been blessed with cricket and uh, i would really love to thank kuwait cricket who have been supporting me since since childhood and uh, their support has been phenomenal uh talking about uh, sponsorships and all i've been getting sponsorship from pro sports cricket and i'm really really thankful of that gesture from them and uh, more away if i talk about uh, mr asif juzum he has been helping me throughout i mean recently he has been helping me since uh, a year i've been training with him i've been uh working out with him so he looks after my workouts my yoga my training sessions fitness so yeah i'm really really thankful of him let us hear something about kuwait cricket from you uh the support from kuwait cricket has been endless and um, i would really love to thank uh, coaches mentors and for sure sajid ashraf sir in particular i would just love to take few names that is jute sir thayer sir uh nikhil nikhil sir and uh, our national team coach mr pushpa kumara so the support has been immensely good and uh, i really so thankful of them and now uh, we are going to have a separate section which is normally the rapid fire and we are going to get in straight into your kuwait national team we are not going to go outside the boundary we are going to stay in the boundary any players names that i take you will just let me know what comes to your mind quick fast and spontaneous shall we start yeah sure are you ready for sure yes bilal kedish usman gani funny i mean wise man adnan idris six hitting machine six hitting machine that's interesting <laughs> raveja oh uh, aggressive nawab ahmed drags <coughs> yasin patel jadu that's quick Mohammad Aslam captain cool Munib Afghani express hashtag #140 hashtag #140 <laughs> Meet Bhav sir <laughs> no answer for that is is clueless is clueless for Meet Bhav sir we we'll move on ahead uh, we are heading towards the closure we have a, another refreshing segment where in uh, the fans of Meet he has plenty of fan following on social media Instagram and Facebook he's randomly thrown out dished out a few questions have been posted by his fans he's going to take those questions he's going to choose the question give it a shout out uh first of all it's so uh, mufida kuchargi she is one of the national team players women's national team players how do you plan uh, to face the first ball of bumrah you can see it on 31st august interesting 31st august if kuwait goes on to make the qualifiers uh the next goes to rona kiranandani mm. How does it feel coming this far in your cricketing career at such a tender age? It feels great uh, as all the hard work has paid off and I really look forward to keep working hard and uh, I hope the hard work still pays. And uh, the next question is from rhythm underscore eight 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 eight. So do you eat fast food and drink sodas, pizza, burgers, etc.? If so, then how many times in a month? interesting question uh i really have very less amount of cheat days i mean probably once in two months i'm very disciplined so yeah i don't eat it enough i know this follower is one of the youngsters from kuwait cricket moving on ahead uh yep that's it still scrolling yes interesting questions he has chosen a few and uh, he's given a shout out Meet there's one interesting question that I want to ask you. You follow a lot of cricketers. Who inspires you from a cricketing perspective and a non-cricketing perspective? If I talk about cricketing perspective it's Virat Kohli. I have no no second thought about it and uh, other than cricket it's uh, Ronaldo because of his work ethics, his discipline, his commitment towards his sport is just phenomenal, just next level. so he inspires me day in and out for sure absolutely you cannot deny one of the two legendary sports personalities around the world that inspire plenty of youngsters this has been the story of uh, meet bhav sir who has been instrumental 
uh, with his cricketing prowess, his skills, his work ethic has been absolutely stunning. Like we mentioned, if you sit back and hear me, he has the same script day in and day out. He keeps following the same things again. At times it gets boring, but uh, that's the process uh, that he follows. He loves, uh, there's a lot of passion with his cricket going. And uh, surely it has been a great pleasure, Meet, uh, talking to you at uh, this point of your career. We would really wish you uh, tremendous, tremendous success going ahead, becoming an inspiration for all those youngsters. Is there any strong message, Meet, before you leave for the youngsters? Oh. All I would just like to say, a small sentence is you should always keep working hard and keep believing, keep believing in yourself. Because if you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything and everything in this world. I would just like to thank each and every one of uh, you all, the viewers and uh, the people who have, I forgot to mention about. I'm really so thankful of each and every one of you and last but not the least, Mr. Vinod and uh, Ben Creations, thank you so much for this opportunity and I really enjoyed it and really looking for a few more in the near future. It's, a, it's wonderful, it's been a pleasure Meet having you on our show, it nice has been great you. and uh, thank you for your time. Most welcome. How do you start? I don't know. 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 I don't